Welcome to RAM problem. In this lab, our main objective is to understand that there is no difference between an object which moves along the ramp because you apply some force and object in free fall because you throw it up. Why these two scenario? One is moving on a ramp and one is in free fall are same because both starts from big velocity and ends with zero velocity. That is starts with big velocity and ends with zero velocity. This is starts with big velocity and ends with zero velocity. Both the ramp and the free fall, both the object has to fight with acceleration due to gravity from location A to location B. At location A, it has the maximum velocity. At location B, it has zero velocity. So that's what we're going to solve or try to understand today. An object is on the incline. And before we do that, let's make hypothesis, three hypotheses. Let's say this is x, this is y, this is z. Whose angle between x, y, and z? Whose angle is responsible for the object to accelerate on an inclined plane? Well, only x. Z and y has nothing to do with acceleration. Okay, if x goes to zero degree, acceleration is zero. If x goes to 90 degree, then acceleration is z. If x goes to theta, then acceleration is g sine theta. You're going to use these hypotheses to solve the problem. And of course, you're going to test the hypothesis as well. So let's say this is 30 degree. And let's say this is uh, no friction. OK, you're going to try to find acceleration. So what is the acceleration? First, draw the free body diagram. We have three forces acting on it. This is 90 degrees, so this is Fg perpendicular. This is Fn, and this is Fg parallel. So F net is equal to Ma. Only one force acting on it. One, only one force uh, responsible for acceleration, and that is Fg parallel is equal to Ma. So Mg sine theta is equal to Ma. So acceleration is g sine theta. So acceleration is 9.8 sine uh, 30 degree. So acceleration is 4.9. So acceleration is 4.9 meter per second squared. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to keep the same problem. However, you're going to add friction. If we do add friction, then how will that change us? Now you're going to call it wood on wood. Okay, so let's uh, keep the same angle. This is again Fg perpendicular. This is Fn. This is Fg parallel. This is Ff. Okay, so to find F that, we're going to replace two forces that is responsible. This one is responsible for acceleration and this one is responsible to slowing it down. Okay, so Fg parallel minus Ff is equal to Ma. So Fg parallel is what? Mg sine theta minus mu k Mg cosine theta is equal to Ma. M, M, M cancel, acceleration is G sine theta minus mu k g cosine theta. Acceleration is 9.8 sine uh, how much? 30 degree minus 0.39.8 cosine 30 degree. So this is acceleration is 4.9 minus 2.5. So acceleration is 4 or uh, 2.4 meter per second square. Now of course you're gonna uh, make 
uh, a uh, application uh, application for RAM problem. So this is application to RAM problem. So suppose you are a, you are a, you are at a grocery store, and the angle is five degree. Suppose in your grocery you have thirty kilogram. 30 kilogram grocery in it in your in your shopping cart suppose this is at location a and you want to make it to location b and the distance between location a and b is 121 centimeters and the height from x axis to location b is six centimeters oh no okay fine okay no i'm not going to give you this this is this is something else okay what is the applied force needed so that you can move this shopping cart with constant velocity that means acceleration is zero you want to move it with constant velocity so what is the minimum force that will allow you to move these bulks from location a to location b with constant velocity well let's first do the free body diagram you always have to start with the free body diagram. Two force acting on it, this direction, FF and FG parallel. And FF flight is this direction. FF flight is always, uh, while well, F, F friction is always opposite to uh, FF flight. So F net is equal to MA. Since this is constant, acceleration is zero. F net should be replaced by what? FA minus FF minus FG parallel is equal to zero. So FA is equal to what? FF plus FG parallel. So that FA is, FF is UK MG cosine five degree plus mg sine 5 degree so fa is this is uh, mu k is 0 0.1 0 0.1 30 uh, 9.8 cosine 5 plus 30 9.8 sine 5 so fa is 55 big newton so you need 55 newton at least 55 newton to keep it moving and exactly 55 newton will keep it moving with constant velocity now we're going to put together everything uh, uh, yeah to create a table okay so what are we going to put together we're going to have the incline that is on the x-axis Okay, there is a box at location A. Location A, location A, A is T, A, 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 T initial, which is zero. And this box at T is equal to T final, box is at location B. And the distance between A and B is 121 centimeters. And the distance between B to X axis is 6 centimeters. What we need to find is the following. By the way, the box is two kilogram uh, theta, and then acceleration, velocity, time, p, k, r, t, power, and so on, at location A and location B. Okay, so how can we find the uh, theta? Theta is very uh, easy, so the sine theta is opposite. What is opposite? Six. Uh, what is hypotenuse? 1.21. So theta is sine inverse 0 0.06, 1.21, so 2.8. So theta is 2.8 at location one. At location B, you probably think 90. No, and you probably think 90 minus 2.8. Uh, no, that's not right. So what is then theta? Theta is the same, 2.8. Uh, 
uh, only this angle is responsible for the object to accelerate. No other angle is responsible for the acceleration. Okay. Uh, acceleration is G sine theta since no friction. If there is no friction, this is the 9.8 sine uh, 2.8. So 9.8 sine 2.8 is probably 4.9. Uh, 9.8 sine 2.8 is uh, 0.48. 0.48. Acceleration is constant. Velocity is uh, maximum over here. Velocity, as I said, that when you toss, a, toss something in the air, the velocity is maximum when it leaves my hand, and velocity is minimum when it makes a parabola. So velocity is big over here, and velocity is small over here. Well, it's zero over there. So velocity is zero over there. What is velocity over there? Okay, to find the velocity, you're going to say potential energy at the top at location B is equal to kinetic energy at location A. So half mv squared is equal to mgh. So mv squared is equal to 2mgh. So b squared is equal to mm cancel, of course. v squared is equal to 2gh. So that's what b is. So 2 times 9.8 times h is 0 0.06. So, so 2 times 9.8 times 0 0.06, and that is 1.176, and that gives you 1.08, 1.08. Okay, so velocity is 1.08. The time, the time of course here is zero. The time over there is, okay, all right. So you're gonna say this one is VI, so this one is zero. So D is 1.21 is equal to half uh, 0.48 T squared. So 1.21, 1.21 times 2 divided by 0.48 is square root of 5. Two point two. So time is two point two. Let's see this this one also give us Vf is equal to V. Energy at location A is zero. And potential energy at location B is of course MGH. M is um two nine point eight point zero six. So two times nine point eight times point zero six and that is one point two. So one point two. Kinetic energy at location 1 is 1.2, 0, so 1.2, 1.2. Power at location B is 0, so if the velocity is 0, power is 0. Power at location 1 is M, A, V, M is 2, A is 0.48. Velocity at location 1 is 1.08, 1.04, okay, that's instantaneous power. Okay, if you want to find out the, the, uh, the average power, then you have to find MA average. So average is VI plus VF over 2. So 0 plus divided by 2. 2 times 0.48 times 0.54 times 2 times 0.48 and that is 0 0.5, 0 0.52. Average power is 0 0.052.